All right, guys, welcome back to chat room. We have another Dave Ramsey video, uh, reaction video to be exact. Um, you guys have been liking this one. So um, this title is called I'm Pregnant and My Husband Won't Buy Me Soup. Pretty, pretty funny <laughs> title. So we're going to react to this and see what Dave Ramsey has to say to this. Um, I'm not sure if this is just marketing or if she's actually or he's actually. Well, I guess she is actually going to say this on live air, but let's see. Yeah, and is Dave pro soup or anti soup? Yeah, yeah, that's the question. He probably doesn't like soup because he doesn't like <laughs> anything. So I'd save money <laughs> and throw yeah. money in your retirement. Yeah, <laughs> we'll we'll see. Today's question comes from Casey in Arizona. This is going to sound so silly. How strict would you get with this with this debt payoff? We are twenty thousand dollars in debt with cars. We recently got married. I am now pregnant, and my husband refuses to buy me any soup. He wants us living off rice and chicken. I'm puking all day. Can't keep food down. And I asked uh, is this him real? for soup yesterday. Wait, stop. <laughs> he makes yeah. very. I'm kind of with Dave Ramsey on this one. Um, yeah, did they let a troll in the house? <laughs> yeah, I don't know if one of their employees wrote this or if they're just doing this for marketing purposes, but to actually not hear somebody come on and actually explain is just kind of – I'm with Dave on this one. Is it real? Yeah. Is it fake? I, I do know that uh, my parents often talk about the ramen years. Yeah. And I can't remember if I was just about to be born, but, yeah, right when they got married, they were basically broke. Yeah, and, you know, ramen today is still one of the cheapest things ever, and yeah. they were like, "That's that's all we were eating." Yeah, so ho hopefully, uh, my mom got some soup. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, I yes. really hope this is not real though, just because I mean, soup, like you just said, I mean, all s different forms of soup. It's like one of the cheapest things you can find, especially if you're talking about canned soup or like home making it and stuff. Yeah, it's yeah, not very expensive. It's not like she's like, "I'm pregnant, I need like lobster." You know what I mean? Like, yeah. this is soup. So, yeah, I don't know I'm how much cheaper <laughs> chicken and rice would be versus soup. Unless yeah. she's wanting, like, some lobster, you know, gourmet soup, cream chowder, like, <laughs> you know. Well, and, and I hate to already give him this advice in case this is ongoing and somehow the husband would see this. But chicken rice can almost become a soup. Just put a yeah. little stock in it. Yeah, you know? for real. I mean, you're you're halfway there, man. So, <laughs> yeah, throw but... a little chicken broth in there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, exactly. <laughs> That's funny. Very good money. So, so one can of soup wouldn't hurt, but he's also dead set on not eating or buying anything other than essentials. We're literally fighting over it. Thanks, a pregnant wife craving soup. Is that real, y'all? See these. This is the problem with our jobs, Dave. <laughs> we've created. It means we will have a job. That forever. we've created him. <laughs> him. Oh no, Casey. Yes. No, we did not create him. We never told someone. To <laughs> no. do that if you mean when we say live on beans and rice, rice and beans, if you think we mean that literally, I mean you really need to go back to school. It's a <laughs> metaphor for sacrifice, sacrificial living. The deeper you sacrifice, the faster you get out. The chances. When we were dead dog broke in bankruptcy court, and my wife is carrying Rachel during that moment. Rachel was born the year we filed bankruptcy. The chances of me telling Sharon Ramsey she isn't going to have any soup is about zero. <laughs> okay, I would have woke up dead. Yeah. <laughs> wouldn't have woke it up? <laughs> I wouldn't have woke up at all. I'm telling you, duct tape to the bed and her standing over me with a baseball bat. It wouldn't have been, this would not have worked, right? We are not going to do this. So come on, man. I, I want to stop. <laughs> So two things. First of all, I love the idea of a very literal cookbook from Dave Ramsey. It'd yeah. just be the rice and beans cookbook. And it would just be like like the uh, Forrest Gump gumbo. It'd yeah. just be 50 different recipes for rice and beans. I mean, <laughs> that would be it if you took them literally. Yeah. Uh, but also, you know, maybe, maybe this means we were too harsh on them, John, with our truck commentary that everybody got so up in arms about. Yeah, because maybe he's just kind of being metaphorical about the three thousand dollar and four thousand dollar truck. You're right. We were taking it like to the letter. Yeah, so, you know, not ready to say mea culpa quite yet. Yeah, but it's it's possible. We we could have 
we could have become this guy. <laughs> you know. Yeah. No, this guy needs to chill out. Honestly. Yeah. You know yeah. he needs. He needs some soup. Yeah. It sounds like, <laughs> honestly, his wife needs to threaten him a little bit more in a respectful way. Well, honestly. I mean, it sounds like he's a fan of Dave show. She's calling or writing, I guess, writing into Dave show. You did he's this. Going to see this. <laughs> I, I, I think, you know, maybe yeah. he'll take this literally too. So, yeah. like, oh, okay. Soup Just it is. Soup. Yep. He's going to come home with beef. like a, a soup bowl from Panera with the bread. Oh man, yeah, that's like the boots with the fur, the soup with the bread. Yeah, so, you know, high class. But <laughs> man, I mean, really, goodness gracious! <laughs> now coughing. Well, uh, I just remember how sick I was. You were sick, pregnant, and like that's so terrible, Casey. Go get soup. Go spend $10 yeah. and get you 10 cans of soup. Tell Mr. Pharisee to lighten up a notch. <laughs> Goodness gracious. <laughs> okay. No, we're not buying a new car. We're buying a can of soup. Jeez. <laughs> I don't know. 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 We're both spenders. Hey, I, hard, I, I, so I we mean, don't... I've had people call and say, well, I'm in, my, my husband made me get in a dumpster and get something out of the dumpster because you said, I never said that ever. <laughs> never one time did I tell a man to spend his wife to the dumpster and get stuff out. <laughs> never once. But I've actually had that call one time. Oh, my gosh. These people take stuff. Listen, you, I get it that you got the point, but you missed the point. Okay? <laughs> There's a concept here, not a detail. Yeah. And so it's – um. I think it was why Jesus was frustrated with the Pharisees, right? Oh, yeah. You got the concept, but you got all caught up in the details. And you went really you know, far over. Way over the line, Come down back. the hole, the rabbit Poor hole. Casey in Arizona. If I had your address, Casey, I would ship you <laughs> <laughs> a pallet of soup. A pallet? Yep. Just show it. So, soup just for the rest of your pregnancy. Pallet. Costco, <laughs> Costco, here we go. Direct direct to Casey's yard. Oh, uh, that'd be amazing. Let's, let's do a, let's yeah. do a go fun. Can she send me Casey. one, too? <laughs> yeah. Uh, she doesn't need that. She needs to. Uh, well, she's got it. She's got what she. <laughs> well, that was probably the dumbest entertaining Dave Ramsey video I've watched in a long time. That was, that was pretty fantastic, and I uh, feel like right at that last moment he was about to suggest something a little more. <laughs> yeah, uh, intense. <laughs> but yeah, I will say though, if this if that was real, and he's literally being like that over like a can of soup or just one soup meal at a restaurant or whatever. That poor child is not going to get nothing for Christmas if he's not going to give his pregnant wife soup. Like, uh, well, yeah, it's not you like know? it's going to get cheaper once the kid's born. Yeah. The, the rice and chicken for – or rice and beans for three. Yeah, or point. soup for two. That one yeah, soup. yeah. So – He's in for yeah. it. If he's really going to just tighten up that much, I mean, he's in for it. Yeah. 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 For sure. I, definitely, definitely taking some, some kind of ideas and lessons for our own lives already. Yeah. From these videos, but that, that <laughs> rice and beans will not be one of them. Yeah. Uh, or at least, you know, with something else. Yeah. 100%. But, yeah. But yeah. If you enjoyed this and you, you all seem to love them, you know, keep commenting your thoughts, keep liking the videos. We'll have three or four by this point, plenty more to come, it seems. Yeah. Because you, you keep loving them. So, you know, subscribe for our thoughts, you know, Dave's thoughts and more right here on Chat Room.